a couple hundred years earlier, you would have to live outside and fight for... What an interesting idea that dogs only a couple of hundred years ago might have been treated with relative disdain. In fact, excitingly, the archaeology says completely different. Uh, some of the oldest pet burials that we know of are people buried with their dogs 6,000 years ago. Uh, we have one here, which is from 4,000 years ago. And uh, this burial here was actually from 14,000 years ago. Again, 14,000 years ago. And this dog was only seven months old when it died and was buried with two humans. This was towards the end of the last ice age when the, the characterization is often one of a hard life and a pragmatic relationship with animals. And yet here, clearly, these people loved this dog. Much, much later, though still far older than 200 years ago, I strongly recommend searching online for medieval dogs because you'll find all sorts of wonderful images of pets and hounds from medieval times. Uh, weird and wonderful in terms of the artistic styles on display. And yes, some of these animals were absolutely uh, hunting dogs. However, they were also definitely pets and beloved and this relationship continued all the way up to 200 years ago in fact it was around about this time that we saw a rise in pet cemeteries and a desire by the owners of dogs and pets to imagine that their that their wonderful animals would have an afterlife possibly even one that you could share together in fact local to me here in Newcastle upon Tyne, we have this pet cemetery here. This is in Jesmond Dean, and it was uh, a place where you could bury your beloved and sadly missed pets uh, and give them a gravestone and have them remembered that opened in the 1800s. It only closed in the 1970s, and even then, it hasn't fully closed, actually. We, we still hear of unofficial burials at this location to this day. So, thankfully, no. Around 200 years ago, your wonderful dog probably would have been equally comfortable, happy, and loved. 